The Quran verse or ayah that is used is only used to highlight a point and is not synced to the exact time it was revealed to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Further in-depth background could be added to this story, but Allah subhanahu wa taala knows best. This is low. Never did the Prophet sell this book. Peace and blessings be upon him. He didn't peddle about the side streets of Mecca with books piled on a stand and waving one in the air as to offer it for a deal. Or he didn't set up a seminar with entrance fee for people who were interested, asking for gold in return just for him to speak. Nor did he go on a book selling tour like an author would today, selling it and signing it to a fan. A stuff for Allah for all of these because we know it's not true. Actually, he was born in a nomadic tribe where memorization was key. It was the way of passing stories and was a tradition long before the word of God had reached him. So by the time that happened, he was already capable of such a task that relied on his memory. But he was only speaking the words that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave him and then was eventually gathered. And so he assembled his family and friends and confided in them the holy message. Thus, in small living areas, sleeping quarters, and in meeting points, Allah's final revelation was sparked. But maybe he didn't find time to write an autobiography, or a preface, or a prologue. Most books have one, or a dedication of some sort. But honestly, this was no ordinary book. So all that customary preparation was of no importance. At first, there was no page one or page two, because it was only recited orally through memorization. And when your Lord calls, you answer. And so Prophet Muhammad knew to do so and take the message as well. Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was really only there to recite. And money is beneath you when you're given such truth from God. So we give you Surah Yusuf 12, 104. In the name of Allah, most gracious, most merciful. <laughs> And no reward is thou asked them for this. This is no less than a message for all creatures. But the customs that were around at the time were opposite. The Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, was asking for nothing, while the running religion was expecting citizens to pay heavily for their pagan gods to give them blessings. And the chiefs, they didn't mind this custom too much, due to their increase in salary that it propelled. So thus, the Prophet's every movement challenged the foundations of early Mecca and its tribes all to the core. The Rasulullah, peace and blessings be upon him, didn't expect anything but the glory to be pointed toward Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. No publicist, nor editor, or distributor was needed. The only copies that were around during the early Meccan revelation was the ones that existed in the hearts of his followers, the original Sahaba, AKA the friends of the Prophet. But Allah knows best. But you could get one, a copy that is, of what Allah Azawajal told him to say. It's called the Quran. Jazakallah khair. This is low.